And then... What? You... Are you feeling all right? What's going on everybody? Z here and welcome back to some Slime Ranch. So we're playing the new Victor's Experimental Update. We're continuing it. We uh, checked it out first in the last episode. And uh, yeah, we're going to be starting off with a couple of tips and tricks, I think. And uh, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed, definitely leave a like if you're new here. Don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. So I want to unlock this area. But in order to do that, we have to get some things. I did some things while we were gone. As you can see, I only need 50 more to unlock that area. That is right, boys and girls, we've done it. Now, in the process of doing this, I'm going to show you how I'm collecting these uh well rather quickly rather quickly indeed so uh yes if you guys are curious let's go ahead let's get started and i'm going to show you the ways that i do this and how i pretty much max out my uh my glitch slimes every time now it's not maxing out every single time but uh it does a pretty good job of uh of maxing out so basically what i look for is i look for structures i actually don't even look at the slimes i don't really care about the slimes uh, the structures and like the rocks and stones and stuff like that like this guy boom that's one right there you're looking for things that are kind of out of place if you see trees with fruit that one right there guaranteed that's one right there um and then that was a little dude too uh this guy and now it's moving these are the way to get uh a lot i don't even i don't even bother with the the largos and stuff they're just they're just not efficient in collecting them uh that one's probably one yep it is. So you're kind of looking for rocks that are by themselves. Trees with full grown fruit already. Those are like <clears throat> an immediate dead giveaway. And then um, uh, there's there's a couple other little giveaways I'll show you like as we go. Uh, so like these right here, that's one guaranteed. No problemo. And you have a lot of time actually. I've actually had a lot of time where I'm maxed out and I, the game, the, it's not even over yet. Like I have plenty of time left. Other times I come up short, but that's fine. I get over, usually over a hundred the entire time. Now you could say we're like, oh, you're just getting lucky. You're just getting lucky right now. It's, it's really, it's really not that hard. Uh, the first time I did, it, I think we got like 60 or something like that. But it's also because I was worried about the, uh, the slimes, but that's that that's not the way it is not the way. And, uh, yeah, so you're going to be looking for rocks by themselves just things that don't belong where they are supposed to be uh this area out here is a fantastic area it usually has a lot so you have uh that tree right there is already guaranteed one oh that's actually the only one out here hmm. unfortunate but uh i mean as you can see we're already at 67 and you can have a max of 150. now there are hey get back here. there are lucky slimes and there are golden slimes you can get while you're in here the golden slimes obviously drop a absolute ton of little dudes and then uh the lucky slimes give you a few extra nothing too crazy but um another tip i have is have a path have like a pattern that you go through depending on where you spawn and then you'll really know what to look for and you'll start seeing the same things kind of over and over um that rock it looks like it's a rock that's there it's 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 actually a rock <laughs> i always i always try to get that one and it's not even a thing uh come here little buddies oh look at the happy little slimes but you don't need to rush around this that crystal right there that's not that's not a real crystal nope it doesn't look you see how it looks different you see what i'm saying it just looks a little bit different but then again i have done this a few times so i you kind of know what to look for as you go along uh these all look good this all looks good that crystal's real these are all real that one's not real easy peasy not even hard we're at what 80 90 now like <laughs> it has been no time at all come here little dude uh a couple rocks right here usually the nope oh, is this one nope oh, okay grab more of these dudes so if you use your if you use your debug spray sparingly and you don't use all that's one right there uh you don't use it all the time you're not gonna run out of it and if you don't go around just shooting absolutely everything you'll be fine there's one right there uh there's one right there so let's go ahead and get this guy and i try to stand back a little bit when i get them that way i can try to collect them from afar and try to suck up as many as i can uh like these little dudes oh that pink one's actually one too 
kind of funny. And if you get a Largo that is one, you actually don't even have to shoot it. You can just suck it up. You can just like suck it to the end of your tool and it'll just pop for you into a, into a big dude. So pretty handy, pretty nifty. Uh, okay, that guy just left, peaced out. Um, any more around here? Not see, that's not one. Don't fall for that trick. Don't fall for the trickery. Let's see what else we got over here. Uh, bet you this crystal's one. Sure is. Absolutely is. These guys do not die if they go in the water either. Right here, it's fantastic. Uh, that one's one. <laughs> so you can see, like, you're just looking for things that just are kind of, like, out of place. You know? It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. That crystal's not one. And we'll see if we can get 150 this time. Like I said, sometimes you get 150. Sometimes you get them super fast. And there's just, like, a ton in one area. And you just get really lucky. Uh, that one's right there. That that's one. I was like, I was like, what do you mean? That's not one. That is absolutely one. Uh, let's see what else we got. All right. See, so time is about out. Um, and what I like to do is I like to head back towards where the the portal is. And I don't know if it's actually like a thing or not, but it seems like once the time is about running out, you actually get more from the ones that you do find. Additionally, this looks like one. It is indeed. So like, look how many I got from that one. Um, I'm gonna try to max out. Let's see if we can't max out before we before we head back. These guys are jerks. You can shoot them if you want to. I have seven left. Um, that's one. Boom, done. We maxed out. Completely maxed out our glitch slimes. Easy peasy. It's not hard, but like I said, do not look for the slimes. The slimes will do you no good. That's one, that's one. Uh, that's not one. But I can't even, I can't get these guys. I have too many. I have too many. It's great. It's a great problem to have. Now, let's go ahead and unlock this uh, this little area right here, shall we? I have, oh, I'm so excited. There's like little pools and like little things. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. Now, I did actually unlock the advanced drone in between the episode and this, this last episode and this episode. So that is a thing. And I have been stockpiling these cubes like crazy. Perfect. I'll take those. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Hello, Beatrix. Good to see you again. The bug reports you have been collecting have been most illuminating. With your help, I've isolated the source of the glitch slimes and have fixed in place for removing them in order to continue my work on the simulation. But first, I must tell you something. I've determined that the simulation I've been running on your performance with this project isn't wrong at all. Though true, it, pro it projected seemingly incorrect results. It was missing a crucial data point that the universe can surprise you. Until I observed your willingness to help me, a stranger, really, and then you, your tenacity within the simulation, I thought people and their abilities were much more predictable. But you've shown me that in all that, okay, anyways, I want the area. Where's this area? I don't know, okay. Uh-huh. Okay. It would seem to me this very unexpected result is worth keeping. Worth studying. Fantastic, that way I can get more stuff. And do more things. Absolutely. Uh, so please continue to collect reports. Uh-huh. Okay. Fantastic. Um, chat occasionally. Perfect. All right. We've done it. We've unlocked the area. He didn't even say anything about the area. He's like, oh. <gasps> Here it is. Here's our first little area. Oh. Oh, it's a magical bridge. Oh, it's a magical bridge. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, little tiny plant dudes. What are these? Nothing. Can I put stuff on them? Oh, I can. Ooh, that's neat. Is that a phase lemon? A phase lemon tree? It is a phase lemon tree. What? This area is so cool. Oh, there's a little pond right here and everything. Why is there a phase lemon tree here? That is most, most peculiar. Um, have we found a new place for our, our phase slimes? Oh, you know what would be so cool is if we could have like a door. Wait, can, I should be able to bring slimes here now. I think I should be able to. Okay, so what else do we got? Oh, look at, we're under the ocean. Oh, we're underwater, it's fantastic. Okay, so we have one, two, three plots here. What what is what is what is this? Oh, this is so cool! This is too neato. Oh, I like it. 
I like it. Okay. So are, is, there, is there anything special here? Corral? No, nothing really. Um, but I should be able to bring in slimes now. You know, it's actually... Wait. Oh, can we... Oh, we got to go with the... Uh, is it the volcanic? Is that the one we're rocking? Ruby. What is that? Select. Ooh, I like it. I like it. Okay, cool. So we have a little area over here. I feel like this is made for quantum slimes. I'm just saying, like, I feel like it's a thing. Can I go in here? Oh, this is too neato. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, so let's head back and let's head out of here because there's really not a whole lot I can do in here. I mean, I could throw some corrals or something in here, but I don't exactly know what I want in here yet. Um, I do have 40 something of these cubes now. Fantastic. It's always handy. Now, you could say, oh, you've already unlocked the things. There's no reason to go back in there. However, you, we need these cubes in order to build some of the advanced research items. And there are some uh, treasure pods in there I have yet to actually unlock. Actually, does it show on the map? Wait. Oh, that's just saying where I'm at. Okay. Okay. I was like, what? what's going on? What's going on here? All right. Whoop. Good. And okay. So I was curious if there was like a little map of, man, nah, there's not. There's not going to be a map of that. Okay. Uh, any hoozles. Let's go ahead and let's drop in these. Oh, I should have dropped off the bug reports. Oh, well. Oh, well. So we have, I do believe, make sure I go through all of these. We have advanced drones, a more advanced version of a drone that has the capacity to perform two tasks at once. That is right. <gasps> oh, how handy. Manifold cube is a six manifold cubes. Wow, that is a thing. Uh, chicken cloner, a lot of people were telling me to, uh, they are telling me that I should try them slowly. So we might try to do that. Uh, do we get any other kind of teleporty things? Not really. Decorations. Uh, we did get a glitch tree at some point. Oh, we also got a supply drop. Sometimes you need science stuff and fast. So, uh, yeah, there's that. And then curios, uh, nothing else really here. So there are more things to unlock though. I do believe within the glitched universe. Uh, okay. So I want to try, holy moly. That is a very full area. Uh, I do want to try and throw the the face slimes in that room. I want to see if it'll let me take them on there. <gasps> oh, but I forgot I had all the lava lamps in here. Oh, this looks so cool, especially with the little phase dudes. Man, this is pretty cool. Wait, what? Can I have any of you? Oh, there you go. You know, actually the the, uh, the crystal slimes in here would probably be pretty, be pretty good because there's like crystals on the ceiling. A crystal. I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, I want to take a few of these guys with me though. I think I can. Oh geez, whoops, that's that's not really what I, <laughs> that's not really what I wanted. Uh, let's take some quantum slimes. We're gonna take it back in there. I'm gonna shoot them in that room, and I mean, there's already a phase limit tree in there, so I feel like it's kind of meant for it. But I'm curious if they'll try to run out or not, because these guys don't run out of here by any means. They kind of just stay where they're supposed to be. So what do we have if I throw these like that, right? You know what? That's not an actual phase limit tree. That's not an actual phase limit tree. It's a like a hologram representation. Interesting. I can put a drone here. Weird. That's not actually. What? That's super cool, though. Okay. Well, I guess that's out. <laughs> I guess that's another thing. So, what is what is the purpose of uh? What's the purpose of all these? I don't understand. I don't. I don't really get it. Um. They're everywhere. They look really cool whole bunch of like there's a ton of tech spots in here you know what teleporters would be sweet to put in here this would be a perfect place to put a whole bunch of teleporters <gasps> oh actually hold on a second how many how many what this room back here how many things do you have one two three four hmm how many teleporters do we have do we have four teleports? This could be our teleporter room. <gasps> oh, that'd be neato. It'd all be one area. Oh, we have, wait, there's a fourth one right there. Okay, so we have four, four 
plots here. Hmm, interesting. I'm actually kind of curious if anything changed within the uh, within the uh, the area, within the slimeulation. All right, we're gonna hop back in here. However, we are not gonna look for we're not gonna look for the glitch slimes. We're gonna go look for treasure pods because there is a I believe a portable water spout or something is what it's called. What's up, dudes? I know you're in there. Uh, I will grab this though because it's handy to have as a uh, like a defense mechanism. Um, and we need to look for treasure pods. You know what? I feel like if there's gonna be a treasure pod, there'll be one up here somewhere. Most likely. What do you guys think? Let's see if I was right. <laughs> Anything? Treasure pod? Uh, no. Oh, I had zero stamina. Oh, that was a sketchy move. <gasps> there's one right there. Boom. Found one. Found one. Uh, there's also one, if you follow this ledge right here around, there's like, there's one back in there too. Uh, I haven't tried jumping out to that area. There might be one in there, but there's one back there. There's a, there's a rare one, a rarity one. Um, how do I get over there? I think I just have to go, I think if I go up here, right? And then, oh yeah, I just have to go up that way. Yeah, up there, right there. I think that's, I think that's where I need to go. Okay, and then... <gasps> yeah. All right, what are we gonna get out of here? What do we got? We got a digi tree. I thought I already got a digi tree. I must have got, I think I got a digi bush. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Okay, so let's see, how do I get, how, how do I get out of here? It, maybe back up the way I came from? Oh, geez. There we go. Okay, cool. Made it out. Um, Let's go take a peek over here. What do we got over here? Anything hiding? Any, any little, little tiny things hiding? Hmm. What behind here? Nothing. Oh, darn it. So yeah, I'm going to spend my time and I'm going to look for these treasure pods so we can try to get some more things unlocked. I don't think I have anything ever. I don't think I have all the treasure pods even found yet, uh, but I'm going to look nonetheless. Oh, this looks like an area that we could go up. Oh yeah, okay, we've been up here. And we already found one up here before too. Can I go up here? Oh. Oh. I wonder if we can go up top of those things. Oh. Something's happening. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. What do we got this time? Treasure pot. Oh, we got a dash pad. Allows you to briefly sprint with zero energy costs. Oh, that would be so handy to have like absolutely everywhere. Oh, that'd be super handy. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can let's see if we can continue on this path and find any more. Uh not seeing any over here. I do want to go check that area at some point though as well. Oh, hello there! We got another one. So do keep in mind that you would have to have the uh, treasure cracker. Is there a Mark three, a portable scare slime you used to keep slimes away from things on your ranch or just to scare them because you're that person. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I'm not that person, but it could be cool to have a nonetheless. All right, let's see any more treasure pods. That's that's all I'm looking for. We're looking for treasure pods. I feel like there's probably one over there somewhere. Anything hiding back here? Nope. Now let's go over here. Take a peek. Maybe up on that bridge. Is there one in here? Is there one in this tree deal? No, that would be. Oh. Okay, don't go that way. Not meant to go that way. Uh, okay, we made it. Oh, it's time to go. Okay. Now where do I need to go? Oh, geez. You know, one thing I didn't notice about this is that if you look up, it's like a grid and it looks all, oh, it looks so cool. I love this area. This is such a cool little area to play around in and explore and see what there is. I just like all the little digital things. Oh, they're so cute. Okay. Uh, still looking for more treasure pods. I haven't found any additional ones yet. Oh, I spy one. I spy one right up there. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got a digi panel. Yeah, did you panel or did you not? <laughs> All right, so there's another one. I'm still looking for that portable, the little portable water hydrant or whatever it's called. 
because I want to play with it. I want to see that if maybe you can have the drones pick up water and water other drones. That would be amazing. I'm not gonna lie, that would be that'd be pretty great. Uh, why does this go down here? I feel like this is almost like an invitation to find a new area. Hmm. Oh, oh, wait, did we already get that one? Yeah, we did already get that one. Uh, what about over there? I don't recall. Watch me not even be able to go on this. Oh no, way good. Way good. Um, There's gotta be one around here somewhere. Well, nothing over here. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Hey, there's a, I didn't know there's a thing in there. Super handy. Uh, there used to be one back here, but that's like on the overworld. So I would imagine they're probably not gonna put, a play, put them in the same places as the overworld, but I uh, had to check nonetheless. Oh, hello. What do we got here? Uh, meat slime bait. Oh, <laughs> it's like a chicken on a spring. <gasps> that is funny. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's see what else we got. Um, uh, I've been over here quite a bit. Oh, I haven't been up there. I bet you there's one up there. I, got, I bet you. I bet you almost anything. There's one up there. There's got to be one over there. There's no way that there's not one back here. Oh, there's even a pathway. I hope there's a pathway. Okay, there's a pathway. Where are you taking me, pathway? <laughs> I knew it! How do I get out of here, though? Uh, oh, veggie slime bait. Oh, neato. Uh, are these, are any of these? Nope, okay. Yeah, it's time to go. Um, oh, okay, right here. Whew. Whew, I was a little worried. All right, let's uh, let's head back, and I want to do this again. I want to find more. We need more. I know there's other things that we haven't unlocked yet. Well, there's another 20 more, so that'll give us another cube. I do try to grab some along the way. Uh, once it's time, once like time's up, I'll I'll go through and I'll grab whatever I find, uh, the obvious ones. But I'm not worried about them a whole heck of a lot. I really just want to find. Uh, I want to find a couple more, and then I want to play with the drones a little bit. All right, there's got to be something back here. We're going for it. We're absolutely going for it. I knew it. Oh, it was like an easy one, too. It's like, of course there's one back here. What? Why would you not think there's one back here? A field kit. Ooh, neato. Uh, and then I got that one already. There's one right there, too. Um, Let's see. I guess my best way is probably going to be a good this way right here. Uh, yup, it is. You know, I don't think I've gotten any in this area. That means there has to be some. There's one right there. I already saw it. You can see it from here. Easy peasy. All right, what do we have in this one, huh? Let's see. Portable water tap. That's the that's the one I wanted. Uh, out of all those, that was the one that I wanted. Okay, cool. So we got that guy. Let's see if we can get up here. Uh, is there any more? Man, I feel like there would be like something up there. Or maybe in the pool of water down there? I, I know. I see you shaking, Rock. I know you're not right. I know you're not right. Let's see. What's over here? Anything back over here? Hmm. Anything up here? Uh, not really seeing a whole lot. I want to try going through here and see if I get up on the other side over there. Uh, that's not going to happen. I wanted to try to get up here. Oh, never mind. I did get up here. And there's nothing up here. <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe there'd be one up here. Oh, of course not. Of course not. I guess, you know what? Let's grab some, uh, let's grab some deals. And we'll head. Oh, wrong button. Wrong button there. All right. We got the portable water tap. I also grabbed, uh, I also grabbed 78 little dudes. So you can see it's not that hard to get them. Once you, uh, once you kind of know what you're looking for, like get, spending your time on the right things and not the slimes. You'll, you'll definitely be getting a lot more. So let's head back. I want to check out the water taps and the advanced drones. Uh, let's grab these as well. And whoop, away we go. All right, so there's six more. Perfect. All right, so utilities, advanced drone. How many of these can I make? One, uh, one. Okay, I need more honey and more quantum. <laughs> go figure. All right, and then where is portable water tap? Make one of those guys a dash pad. Uh, I need more quantum ports. I need to throw a lot of ports in here. Um, 
I guess we could set up remote links and have the little drones doing it. That could be a thing. So let's see here. All right, these this area. It's a pretty good area. Let's go in here because I, I think I actually have some drones in here too. Um. Oh, these are all pretty much full of lava lamps. These are all lava lamps. Oh, geez. What is what does one person need with so many lava lamps? <laughs> I don't judge. What is that? Oh, it's a little rubber ducky. Okay. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and put in a utilities portable water tap. Install. Okay. So that gives us water. Okay. And then let's go ahead and remove this one. Pick up this guy. Utilities advanced drone. Install. Uh, activate this little dude. Target. Can I, can I target water? Ports, veggies, fruit, meat, elder chickens. I don't think I can target water. Oh, if you could target water as one of them and have it water other things. Oh, that'd be amazing. That'd be amazing. But you know what? I bet you that's also why they put this here. But that's why they incorporated a portable water tap into the game. Because then you can fill these guys up with ease. Like you could have one of these set next to... Actually, now that I think about it, the fact that this guy does two basically doubles your drones that you can get here hmm let's see plorts uh source is corrals and destination is going to be refinery link and target two um hmm what um Plorts. I mean, why why would I do a target two? A drone can only operate in one ranch expansion. Okay, hold on. If I if I put that as double plorts, would it actually work though? Because I don't know if it moves any faster or if it just gives it an option to do more things. Uh we could do veggies to corrals. We could do veggies to corrals. Actually, we could have it select. I mean, you could have it specifically pick up uh, that, uh, these two. How many drones can you have in one area? I think you can only have two, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see here. Uh, utilities drone. Yeah, you can only you can only have two per area. However, if you did upgrade to them both, that would essentially give you four. What are you doing? You're just collecting plorts, right? And you're taking them to silos. Do we have a refinery link over here? I don't even know if we have a refinery link over here. We're maybe over here ish. Uh, nope. Okay. I was wrong. I don't have a refinery link over. Here. I thought I did. Hmm. I guess not. This is actually super handy though. Have one of these per deal. You go through water your dudes every day. Oh, that'd be amazing. So I need to make some refinery links. It looks like. All right, let's throw a refinery link down. Refinery link right here. We'll throw it right here. Perfect. Warp tech refinery link install. Fantastic. And then let's go ahead and configure this guy. So I think if we configured plorts uh, from corrals to refinery link and then uh, mm, veggies or fruits. Let's do veggies to. Oh, veggies from gardens. Uh, two corrals. Activate. Okay, so that can do both. And then this guy over here is doing something. What are you doing? You're just picking up plorts? Where are you putting them, though? Uh, no, I want you to put them in a refinery link. Perfect. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. I didn't put plort collector, did I? I put corrals. I want you to go from plort collectors to refinery link. And then veggies from gardens to auto feeders. Activate. Perfect. Okay. So there's those little dudes. They're doing that thing. And then what? You are you feeling all right? What? What? Why did you just do that? What are you doing? Why did you just drop your load right here, man? That. <laughs> I'm not sure exactly what we just witnessed. Uh, but this guy did grab a whole bunch of these. Why didn't you put these in the refinery link? Oh, there he goes. Oh, geez. 
of course I would hit the button. Uh, so we, oh, okay. Perfect. Okay, cool. So there's that. Now, uh, that's actually going to end this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for the for some more. Next episode, what I want to do is I want to go through, upgrade all of the drones to drone, advanced drones. And then I want to go through, put a water sieve in each area and a refinery link because I ultimately want these guys pretty much just putting everything in a refinery link because uh, I don't have any need for any more money. I don't think there's any more 7Z reward stuff. There's not. We're already max level on that guy. So um, I definitely want to, uh, I definitely want to maximize our, our, you know, capabilities at the science stuff, science -y stuff. And then we could go through and decorate stuff because we have all these like plants and shrubbery and stuff, stuff like that. And I think I was actually going to do that last time, but uh, we kind of, we kind of faded out. So, um, but yeah, so next episode, more advanced drones, automating everything, water tap in each area. That way we can just go through water everything up. I mean, one tap is probably good because I can just go through here. These guys don't require that much. Uh, it would be really nice if you could have a drone that would water these. Maybe there's going to be like a uh, a super advanced drone or something. I don't know. But uh, cool nonetheless. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you have a wonderful week. And I'll see you in the next one.